Yep. All right, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Jacob Anders. I work for Red Hat. And today I'll be talking about enhancements that we've made to NVMe cleaning in uh, the Wallaby uh, release of Ironic. Uh, first of all, let's recap on uh, the problem description, where the challenges uh, used to be. Uh, NVMEs are becoming more and more common, especially in performance-sensitive applications, such as uh, HPC databases and everywhere where we have a lot of uh, small I.O. Uh, in a way, NVMEs are becoming the de facto standard for um, those applications. Now, historically, we didn't have a whole lot of great tools for um, cleaning NVMe nodes in Ironic. So uh, typically, what would happen is if we wanted so-called deep cleaning or erase devices that just removes uh, all the contents of um, the NVMe device in a thorough way, as opposed to just doing method data clean, we would have to essentially shred them, possibly multiple times, which is horrible for the uh, right endurance of the NVMe's, but it's also very slow. And when we have expensive uh, HPC hardware available, we don't want it to be sitting there for hours or days uh, running through cleaning. With, with NVMe's, it's more hours than days, but, but still, that was uh, less than ideal. Uh, there were a couple of things we could do to alleviate that. Uh, using the race uh, uh, devices method that was, uh, was a decent option. However, it wouldn't be suitable for, for higher security uh, requirements. Some people would uh, disable uh, cleaning entirely, which I think is insane, but uh, sometimes it had to be done. And uh, also, uh, in terms of SATA uh, flash uh, drives, uh, some of them do support SATA secure race, so we had something for them, but not for NVMEs. Uh, so that's a uh, uh, matrix uh, comparing the options that we used to have prior to Wallaby. Uh, see that uh, other than uh, the SATA case, we don't really have a good option because metadata is not really secure and shred is not really fast or efficient. So uh, we got together uh, in the community and we figured we need to do something about it. And we looked at implementing what we call NVMe native uh, cleaning capability, which essentially means um, adding NVMe uh, awareness to Ironic software. So Ironic is able to uh, detect that uh, storage devices in NVMe, check its capabilities, and uh, clean it accordingly. So not use any of the existing methods, but uh, do something new. Uh, this new option essentially involves uh, using uh, NVMe format feature. Uh, we uh, implemented using NVMe uh, CLI uh, toolkit. Uh, we check capabilities. If a device is capable of crypto erase, we do that. If not, we can do user data erase. And if none of the options are um, available, then we have to fall back to the old ways. Uh, but most NVMEs on the market do support those, so it's, um, it's not a big problem in uh, my experience. And also, we added some configurations so that the operators can uh, control the behavior of this new functionality. It is enabled by default, but if someone wants to disable it, it can be done. And we made minor changes to IPI Builder uh, just to make sure that we have the packages that we need. Um, if you're interested, I, I pasted the links to the uh, Garrett changes here if you want to have a look. And with the uh, enhancements uh, I described included in the code base, we have the fourth option, which looks nice and free in our matrix uh, in the context of NVMe devices. We, we have the security features. Uh, we light on the NVMe itself, provided that the firmware is uh, in reasonable degree of compliance with the spec and also it's super fast, which I will show you in a second. So yeah, long story short, we uh, kind of have feature parity with, uh, with SATA erase, but for NVMEs. And uh, this is addressing a, a significant functionality gap that was really bugging me back in my operator's days. Couple of words on uh, how to use this feature if you'd like to take it uh, for a spin. Um, you need the latest release of Ironic, and that applies both to um, Ironic Conductor API as well as the um, IPA image. Um, if you use any mix of older versions, it might not work because uh, yeah, there are changes in the code base all over, and uh, we have some compatibility features that will prevent things from breaking or working in unexpected ways. But if you want full functionality, use the latest uh, Ironic and latest. Uh, IPA. And I'll like take this opportunity to quickly demo uh, how my state works. Uh, as, uh, as we go through this, I'll just uh, briefly mention that um, it is to, used to take about an hour uh, prior to making the change. So uh, you'll see how quickly it runs now. It even fits in a lightning talk. So just cycling the node through manage and provide to trigger cleaning. And uh, we just started now. Uh, looking at the console output here, you can see it's uh, NVMe formatting the first NVMe now. 
Uh, it's just to be mindful of time as well. Won't be long yet, we'll jump to the second one. And we're like 15 seconds into the process now. And we're done. You can see the provisioning state changing and within 30 seconds, the node has gone through the cleaning. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned uh, prior to uh, enabling this, this would have taken an hour easily. Apologies for that. Um, this pretty much sums up the work that we've done. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues who also contributed to enabling this functionality uh, by providing advice and code reviews. So uh, specifically, I would like to thank Dimitri, Julia, Ricardo, who's joining us uh, here today, and to much. And um, with this, uh, I would like to open the um, session to questions. <laughs>